Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to another Arcs mod review. Today we are going to be going through uh, a mod called More Kaiju. This particular mod is basically um so I explain this. So if you think about it, I went through all of the uh monsterverse kaijus, like for example Godzilla, Kong, and so on and so forth. However, uh, if you are thinking, wow, um is there any mods where it's you know just homemade with arc asset but uh and not copied well technically copied with like the quotation mark from uh any media well this is a mod for you so this particular mod basically has a bunch of uh, creatures that are made with the arc assets into kaijus uh, making it feel more arc i guess instead of copy pasting a, a 3d model from another game into uh, not another game and um, just a 3d model of the creature into the game itself and giving it abilities uh these are all handcrafted and it has a rather long list of monsters so today i'll be only going through five of it and without further ado let's begin uh before i begin any of these uh these creatures all Calm down these creatures all if i'm not wrong can be tamed um how can they be tamed to be honest i'm not very sure but if you do know how to tame it you can put down in the description below but let's start off with this guy horus the king of storms so uh they these creatures do have a by small little biography that i'm gonna read out one of the children of the titan zeus Horus sided against his father and with the other titans in the second titan war. Close friends with the titan Iro, he would eventually become a member of the five titan band alongside Goliath, Titan, Iro, and Valst. A loyal and wise companion even if he does butt heads immaturely at times with the titan Rukulias, Horus does not hesitate to dive into combat against vastly more powerful foes to aid his companion in combat and one hell of a fighter he must be to have survived fighting alongside Kaitan. So yeah that's his biography. I'm again not very sure how you tame him but uh, if I'm not wrong he does not have or rather he does not need a saddle and he has quite a large wingspan and he uses the body of a griffin so let's take a look at his abilities um for this i need to summon something big uh, and uh and that's same with every other flyers uh space is to fly hey okay, let's spawn something bigger like a rex or something so left click is a bite attack. As you can tell, even though it's particularly big, it's not doing as much damage. It's doing 119 damage. Right click is talent slash, which as you can tell is just a talent slash, just like grabbing something. Right? C key is a stomp attack. But I think you need to be closer in order for it to work. There you go. So the hitbox for the storm is very very small. Like you actually have to be up close to him in order to do use it like so. And again, all these creatures they are not very powerful. So this is I guess balanced but not really. X key is hurricane winds. It hits two times and it's huge knockback. This is around the same damage as a quad, uh, a quadrupedal spinal bite. Let's see this. Yep, and it also stuns, or rather, it gives you wind blaster, which from the looks of it slows down the guy. Let's try that one time. Yep, so it's a very very big AOE, like wing flap. Alternate C is a fire AoE attack. Yeah, this one, this one, yeah, this is the alternate, this is the alternate C. It's pretty fucking cool to be honest. That, that was pretty fucking cool, I'll be very very honest. Let, let, let's, let's take a look at, look at that one more time but from the front. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty strong. It's pretty powerful. It looks pretty good. Uh, but as you can tell, even though this Rex is like 6,000 6, HP, it has not really killed it yet. It's just getting burned to death. Now, left control is a raw. That's terrifying actually. Right control is a raw too. But it's a different stance raw. I'm gonna do that one more time and shut my mouth. Yeah, pretty cool. And a last of its ability is only available on flying. It's a barrel roll. This barrel roll uh, requires stamina and has a cooldown. And, but any creature that's hit by it will be enflamed. Like you see that tortoise right there. Gonna try it one last time. Yep, there you go. And now for some extra uh, effects that this creature has. So enabling AI special attacks will allow the tame one to land when attacking. If hit by a melee attack, well, it will reflect 10% of the damage back to its opponent and inflict burnt. Insulates the rider and nearby ally, so uh, good hypo insulation but downside is hyper insulation is so bad it actually makes it worse uh being near him if you're too hot it's immune to all fire status effect vanilla and variants in the mod but probably not modded variants and it is classified as a boss and it's immune to all status effect bosses are normally immune to uh, it is again immune to fire and wind pressure effects and will cook meat passively in its inventory and is a particularly fast flyer. So yeah, that's it for Horus uh, the... What's, what's your name again? Horus the King of Storms. A decently well-made creature with very cool attacks. Next up is this guy uh, called the Owl Beast. Uh, the Owl Beast does not have a bio and it looks similar to Horus so let's take a look at his ability and see whether it's the same. So left click is a, a bite attack which is the same as Horus. Right click is a claw swipe attack which should be the same as Horus but I can't seem to hit it. Hold on, what the fuck? Yep, the same as Horus. C key is the hurricane wind attack. So the creature will be stunned and will be knocked back. But I think... Oh, okay. So it's a bit different from Horus's uh, attack. Where Horus is, it will be wind blasted. However, this guy is straight up stunned. So let's try that one more time. Okay, the hitbox is a bit off. So you have to try an arrow for this. Yeah, you are hitting it, but uh, it doesn't knock back, but it does stun. Apparently it doesn't really knock back at all, I thought it was just a terrain issue. Now, left control is a summon that looks pretty fucking cool. Which summons two golems. I do not see said golems. Uh, let's, let, let's try to see that one more time, whether it actually summons golems. It was pretty flashy, but I'm not sure what it does. Alright, let's see again. Uh, I summoned another Owl Beast, so it's either it has a particularly long cooldown or it's just a bit bug. So let's try the uh, summoning the two golems again. Ah, there you go. Those are the two golems that it summoned. So yeah, I think just now it was bug. It, it said it summons two golems, but actually it summons three. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, so it's... it's a pretty decent creature which can summon oh there's a bunch of creatures coming oh what the hell is going on oh this is chaos okay i didn't know this was a thing but sure oh then you guys are getting an ass speed by triceratops come on my god there's more of them now ah uh, okay so yeah let's leave that to them uh for the last two abilities of this guy uh it's the q key which is a raw similar to Horus and the last one is the right control which is also a raw similar to Horus and yeah that's it for the owl beast next up is this guy with a very long task but pretty sh short snarls uh, 
which is the Giga Maw. Uh, the Giga Maw has a bio, so I'm gonna read out to you. An enormous mammal considered a lesser titan. Giga Maw are among the more friendly titan and thus the most pro-dominant titans held in captivity for research. They are extremely intelligent and appear to be able to understand human commands to some degree. Gearoth male and female possess a huge tusk and a long trunk that ends almost claw-like for grasping objects. Despite their thick layer of fur, Gigamoth seem to be relatively comfortable in warmer climates. The facilities Gigamoth are usually contained individually, although every now and then they are allowed to roam outside for a short period of time. It's kinda sad. But let's take a look at his abilities, set or otherwise. So I have a Triceratops here. So left click is a task jab attack. That, you know, love that. And it also inflicts cripple. Right click is a task swing attack, which also inflicts cripple. And it uh, does the same amount of damage, but for most of it, it has a larger swing. CT is a stomp attack, which does more damage. However, it doesn't really apply anything. And as you can saw just from that, it has a chance to do a double storm attack which hits twice. That's us the single attack. I'll try to do a Yep, that's the double storm attack. Uh even though they say it hits twice, but uh the real the real uh, way to understand it is that it hits twice as hard. So it's a one instant of damage, but it's two times the damage of the normal storm attack. Like it's two times the damage of this. Now, last one is the left control, which is bellowing roar. This particular attack does uh, no damage, but it will um, knock back creatures, and it has a cooldown. As you can tell, it just knock back creatures. Uh, other keys. Other key things to note is that it flees when on low health, it is not classified as a boss, it is weak enough to where it gets levels up that are similar to a normal arc creature, and it's a herbivore but it's pretty bad at eating. Uh, better than the carnivore kaiju at eating meat though, so you won't necessarily have to use G cells to feed them. So apparently from this, we can tell that G cells are the main food for all of these creatures. So yeah, that's it for the Giga Moth. Okay, up next is this... Uh, Ugly motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's called Callisto, the former hunter. It has no bio, so let's go straight to his abilities. So this particular creature has two stands, so let's go with all of his uh, quadrupedal stands first. Left click is a bite attack, like so. Right click is a claw attack that inflicts bleed, as you can tell over there. But it has a short cooldown too, that will last. So you can't really spam the bleed. Oh, uh, so the cooldown lasts as long as the bleed lasts. Seeky is a slog, is a claw slam attack. As you can tell. Let's see that one more time. Like so. Now, uh, X key is to change its stun, so let's go to its uh, bipedal form. In its bipedal form, uh, there's only one difference is that its left click is now a claw slash attack, which is a lot faster than its bite attack. So it's similar to the spinal where the quadrupedal the form is oh, the quadrupedal form is uh technically stronger, however you lose the speed and it also looks very funny because it's a bear. Now, left control is a raw that summons Ursa Major Yeah, Ursa Major the Big Bear. Uh it can summon up to a maximum of three. Uh it does have a cooldown for it though, so you have to take a look out for that. And now let's go to the aesthetic roars where right control is a aesthetic roar. Oh that's cool. When you roar a, a bear a spirit of a bear comes out. And Q key is also a roar. I'll rather just a friendly wave. But I, I don't know how friendly it can be seeing a bear wear a reaper for a mask. And it does have extra notes, which I'm gonna read out. It is classified as a boss and is immune to all status effect bosses are normally immune to. Accelerative run, even when as an AI, right, super slow at first, but it builds up speed over time. Uh, sharp or even not that sharp turns reset its speed back to very slow and heavier. Not back attacks uh, do the same. Minions are like this too. Minions are classified as bosses, and minions cannot harvest as you cannot access the inventory. So it does have a 
relatively quick or rather a you know a build up in speed however this build up in speed will be blocked by literally anything a tree these tortoises like you see anything so it's a good travel mount except that it doesn't really knock back knock things down or away which is kind of sad and yeah that's it for this uh, particular creature Callisto the uh, former hunter a relatively simple creature and also relatively strong too however all these creatures are level one so i'm not really sure how powerful they actually are and lastly or rather lastly lastly for today is uh, this particular creature however this particular creature has a pretty cool spawn animation so i'm going to spawn him after i wipe the map from the creatures and i need to spawn at a much more empty spot um this place will do so yeah let's uh watch it together God Almighty, Jesus, that's terrifying. Okay, so this is the Wu Tolong, or in Chinese, it's called Five Headed Dragon, uh, the Apocalyptic Dragon. Here is the Bio, a hybrid created with technology of the past and present. The combined DNA primarily of the goddess Tiamat and the Mad Dragon Obsidius makes for an already powerful titan. However, there is evidence to suggest Gaia and Kaijin's cell may have also been used in this titan, which could explain its control over storms and how its uh, power will increase infinitely the longer it lives. This five-headed titan displayed its incredible power shortly after emerging by almost effortlessly defeating Kaitan in battle, and displayed spiteful behavior by simply toying with Kaitan in repeated encounters. Defeated by the combined might of Kaita, Akuki, Rai, Cthulhu, what? Horus, and Ruklias, with aid from the anti category V Jaeger Dave, Utholong has held its own against the six opponents at once and nearly won. Utholong was a secret project created by a rival Titan research organization, so much so that no record of it exists within said organization. The apocalyptic dragon is a terrifying reminder to titans and humans alike of the results of playing god. Standing over 400 meters tall and with wings that span over a kilometer, Utholong can obliterate entire cities by beating its wings. However, despite the hybrid's immense power, Kaitan has claimed that had they fought while he was in his prime, Utolong would have been no match for the dragon. Although this claim may has been regarded with skepticism, especially by many of the Titan researchers. So yeah, that this is uh, the five-headed dragon Utolong. And let's take a look at his abilities. So let's go through all of his abilities. Left click is this guy decides to come out of the water. Left click is a bite attack. Now this is the standard damage I expect from a um, creature of this size. Right click is a raw, which inflicts fear, terrified. I didn't expect the raw to be like that, but sure. I, I thought that was an AOE burst instead of a raw. What the fuck? Let's, let's see that one more time. How about that? Okay, apparently it does damage, but it's not a lot. C key is unstable lightning breath. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Jesus, that is terrifying. Uh, and again, the ability has a long cooldown, so you don't have to really spam it. However, it's pretty terrifying enough. Okay, let's see C key one more time. Yep. Looks pretty cool, but the damage isn't exactly very high, even probably because it's level 1. Now, X key is a claw swipe attack. 
which has a range that I can't really fit to. Let's try it one more time. Yep, it has a close up attack that does bleed. This bleed bleeds pretty hard. And, and it's um can be afflicted onto a boss mob, so I'm not sure how to make note of that. His left control key has two forms, while on the ground it is a wing blast. Which levels the place apparently. However, while well, in the air it is a landing attack, so let's try that out. Turn around and That dealt like 300k HP, Jesus Christ, that dealt nearly the whole bar of this guy's HP. And it is, uh, has two effects, Brutally Crush and Brutally Stun, I think, I think it was Stun. So that was, that's, that's pretty fucking powerful attack. Um, O key, uh, yes O, like the Oreo O, on the ground is Apocalyptic Lightning. Uh, let me read the description first. It gains invincibility while doing this attack and will land a devastating attack that inflicts stun, a huge cooldown and a stamina cost. Do not use this attack on maps with a low sky barrier or it may delete your character. Wildcard moment. Uh, pretty terrifyingly strong. What the fuck? So yeah, it's uh, it's it just hurt. I mean, like it, it's an AOE attack. It doesn't really seem like it hurts as much, but as you can tell, there's a reason why they say don't use it with a low sky barrier. Your your play will be off the fucking map. Right control is a laser beam ground air. No idea what that means. So let's try that out. Okay, it's just a very random AoE lightning strike. Heal key is stable lightning breath. Uh, seems like it's a bit hard to aim. Yeah, it seems like it's a bit hard to aim though. And yeah, that's all the abilities for the Uto Long. However, let's go through uh, some of the notes on the side. Uh, so, enabling AI special attack will allow him once to land when attacking. Immune to the to terrified and radiation poisoning. Immune to all fire status, vanilla and variant in the mods, but probably not modded variants. Very resistant to electrical attacks. Classified as a boss, immune to all status effect bosses are normally immune to. Immune to absolute zero and wind pressure status effect. A fast flyer, custom saddle, and it's a larger the largest kaiju in this mod. Taming method. Exhaust Uto Long over time. Shoot tranks at him while doing so to speed up the process a little bit. He has an attack he only uses on players and tames which resembles a huge steam blast which raises his topple over time. Upon being knocked out, force feed him narcotics and do not take your eyes off his topper for even a second. His topper drops insanely fast, comparable to a Giga's topper drop. And with that, I have come to the end of part one of this particular mod review. Uh, I will be going through the rest of the creatures uh, next week. And I do not know any of these creatures' abilities because usually for mod reviews, I do not look at I do not uh, look ahead and look at all of the creatures' abilities and stuff like that unless it's a particular mod that requires research. Then I'll do that. However, for Creature mods, I don't really do that, and I experience it with you guys on the first, like, as though it's my first time. And uh, with that, I will end this particular video here, or part one of this more kaiju mods video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you in the next video or stream. Bye! Okay, I don't really want you to say bye, but sure, go ahead. Okay, that's fine, I guess.